Hey everyone and welcome back. So the Kete Royale Gallery is featuring a new solo exhibition entitled Up From Ground Zero, which showcases handcrafted shadow boxes that tell unique stories of social circumstances from the perspective of the artist. Each piece represents a part of her life and history, defeating all odds in the face of adversity. And joining us to tell us more, please welcome artists, Elizabeth, Queen and Burnett. Hello and welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Congratulations on your exhibition. Thank you. It's going really well. People are really receptive to it. And I'm really proud because I was afraid it was going to be emotional for two people and to, for too many people. And it has been, but in a good way. Well, first of all, um, I, I really appreciate the Kente Royale Gallery for all the work that they've been doing to serve our uh, local artists, our, our people of color artists, and, and especially based on where they're located, right, which is on 139th Street and Adam Clayton Power Jr. Boulevard. And so that being said, um, let's talk about your journey into exhibiting solo here at this gallery. How, how did you even come about the gallery and what made you share your story in this way? Well, I guess, I, you know, I, I frequent the gallery a lot and I'm so impressed by the different artwork that comes in, the genres, it's about the community or it might be personal. And I was given this opportunity when I came over and expressed to him that I'd like to show some pieces one day. And he didn't even know that I worked at Ground Zero. And a lot of people I never shared it with. And for some reason, for it being 20 years, I wanted to really express myself and share my artwork. And a lot of pieces of memorabilia from working at Ground Zero, which a lot of people never knew what I did and in construction. And a lot of pieces have to do with just the whole time, uh, the many years things going by, like uh, the incident with Yousef Salam and the Central Park Five and I did a piece called Holocaust that has to do with the Holocaust, but it also ties into, uh, there's a book out called Hitler's Black Vi uh, Victims, which a lot of people don't know there were African-Americans also in the concentration camp and German uh, and African soldiers that were left behind and experimented on by Hitler called the Violent Children. And I also did uh, a piece that felt very emotional to me called Sandy Storm, when the two young boys were lost by their mother's arms, Glenda Moore, the Sandy Storm, she was trying to find refuge due the hurricane and her kids were washed away. And then the rest of my work is just things I've done over the years about protests. My son is an artist and we were talking about, you know, the climate and the time. And he was like, my whole life has been a pandemic. So I created one about that. Um, I created stuff about, you know, having to do with the Black Lives Matter, just, you know, a bunch of different you know, issues that are going now that are not addressed. So basically, are you saying that you are on display right now sharing all of these stories that have been occurring within the past 20 years that you uh, experienced and, and you're doing it with the style uh, that actually has them contained in a box. So can you just share why uh, contained in a box? Well, to me, <laughs> it's sort of like, you know, things that you go through in life and it always sticks in the back of your brain, whichever part of the brain that it is, it's always small, but it's always there. And it always resonates and sometimes it triggers. Like when I finally left working at Ground Zero, I was an operating engineer and I did many jobs. I was on various pieces of equipment down there from every piece of equipment that ran, either I maintained or I, um, I was on generators to make sure there were lights. I did so many multitask things down there, which a lot of 
other construction workers, you know, work down and we worked on it together. And it just, I didn't want to think about it when I left. And I never brought anything up and it actually took me 20 years to start working on putting this together. When I was down there, I was so overwhelmed and I had a therapist that had me do art therapy because I told her that, you know, I love doing artwork and little shadow boxes. She said, you need to make one about what's going on now because uh, they actually sent some of the workers because it was so tumultuous working down there to, I don't want to say the hospital, but to get therapy. And one of the women there that was a psychiatrist tried to have me, um, I guess, put away and analyzed. And she actually sent ACS to my house because she thought I was so depressed. I might take my life working down there. So, oh, so my. I never got that. Yeah, I never got the help I needed. A lot of situations that construction workers had to go through down there working with the long hours. A lot of people lost relationships. Marriage broke off. A lot of people got sick. A and then, you as, a woman, and then you as a woman, we also can't forget the fact that you're a woman working in a, a male dominated field. Well, that's another issue. But yeah, we don't have the time for that. <laughs> yeah, but let's talk about the fact that I was a black woman down there and I had access to so many places because of who I was at, in the union as an operating engineer. And me and a lot of the operating engineers, and this was all of us, we caught so much flack um, through the, the Port Authority police and other people just wanting to know what we did. And, you know, they didn't understand what we did down there. We cleaned out a whole of six months, but they didn't understand all the other facets of what operating engineering. So it became sometimes a fight between Port Authority or, you know, I remember one time they had, uh, they were trying to scale down the presence of the construction workers and the firemen, and that didn't go well. And we right. wanted up being with the firemen and siding with them because there were so many, you know, people were looking for their family members. They were right. trying to get closure. Yeah. And this was yeah. like, you know, five and four months and they wanted to scale down and put more presence, but less workers. And, you know, it was very, it, it didn't go well, let's put it there. But, no, and, it was, and you know what, I, I, I got to tell you, um, just listening to you and, and knowing that you shared with us, and thank you for sharing that you did go through therapy and that therapy led you into art therapy, which that led you into becoming this uh, exhibited artist that is on display right now, uh, sharing your story and your and your process, your, your therapeutic process, because the way you're explaining it, it's almost as if though it was yesterday and that's 20 years ago. Yeah, and it, it took me 20 years to get to this spot that I even wanted to share this in my story. And I started by like, how do I do this? How do I show people my work? How do I open my vulnerability and let people know what I did because I'm very, conservative. I really don't like to say what I've, you know, what I've done, but I wind up just taking snapshots and just making, blowing them up and making pictures and plastering it on the wall. Because years ago in the early eighties, I started when I was 18 in construction. Right. And back then, and I was a little naive, you know, and you didn't have a lot of choices as an African-American because right. the streets were flooded with crack and you still had heroin and either you were hustling, you I went to college or I you it. worked in civil service or something and you had construction and there wasn't a lot of us in construction that chose that path. Right. And, right. you know, I think I did well in it. Well, here you and, are, here you are, yeah. here you are, able to talk about your construction, 
able to be on display, showing a, a different path, right? Expressing yourself and healing yourself and those who come by uh, the Kente Royal Gallery in, in the process. So um, I want to thank you for bringing it here to our show. Um, I understand you. that you're going to be on uh, exhibition uh, for a little longer, right? Uh, until August yeah. 8th. And yeah. um, uh, Elizabeth Queen and Burnett, uh, thank you so much. I wish we had more time, but I really, no. we want everybody to come through, and I think we shared enough for thank them to you. understand. They're going to be and very it's be an experience. You're welcome, yes. honey. All right, you it's guys, once again, from up, up from Ground Zero is going to be yes. up on display until August 8th at the Kente Royal Gallery, located at 2373 Adam Clayton Power Junior Boulevard off of 139th Street. And um, if you're interested in more information, you can visit Kente Royal Gallery.com. Yes. All right, we're going to take a quick so break. When we return, we're going to hear how one entrepreneur is changing the beauty industry. Don't go anywhere.